Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Play High School. I'm Hannah Pratt. And I'm Greta Kybers. Today is Wednesday, November 28th. We have a lot of important announcements for you today, so listen up, because this is the Lion Pride, Pride News. News. High School. My name is George Austin. Here are today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Adam Burchard, Morgan Boyington, Clayton Brandenburg, Brayden Bibbery, Don Barnett, Alexis Ingram, Emily Hackett, and Alexis Nicholson. Have a great day and a happy birthday. The quote of the day today is, remember, you cannot reach what's in front of you until you let go of what's behind you. The Powerpuff Game is tomorrow night at Ivan Jones Stadium at 5.30. The cost is $5 and the proceeds go to the Jesus Cares Ministries, which provides Christmas gifts to those in need. Any juniors involved in Powerpuff or juniors who want to show their support can get eye black that says juniors in Miss Champion's room for a dollar. Proceeds benefit the Huntsville Area Walk for Lucas. The Foley High School Lion Pride Robotics Team finished in second place out of 44 robotics teams at the Brew Baker Technology Magnet High School 7th Annual VEX Robotics Alabama State Qualifying Event in Montgomery, Saturday, November 17th. Lion Pride Team 8293A Matt and Zach Van Welzen and Cole Smith brought home the second place tournament finalist trophy. Team 8293X, led by Kyle Kowalczyk and Devin Spivey, scored the highest in the solo skills game, bringing home the skills champion trophy. They are currently ranked number one in the state of Alabama, 161st in the United States out of approximately 1,300 teams. Congratulations to our robotics team and to our teacher, Mr. Thorgerson. Are you interested in learning about the audition process for the Foley Theater Company's spring production of Alice in Wonderland? There will be an informational meeting next Thursday, December 6th, in Ms. Anderson's room, room 402, immediately after school. Auditions will be held on Wednesday, December 12th. If you are unable to attend the informational meeting, stop by and see Ms. A. The Foley Choir Winter Concert is next Thursday, December the 6th at 6 p.m. at the Foley United Methodist Church. Admission is free of charge. Please join us for a night of holiday favorites sung by all the members of the choir as well as the debut performance of Foley High School's show choir, The Main Attraction. Our teacher, Miss Smith, is looking for volunteers for Let It Snow Saturday, December 8th in Centennial Park right after the Christmas parade from 11 to 3. She needs 20 volunteers per two-hour shift to work the children's craft area after the Christmas parade. You can sign up in room 706 or email Miss Smith at tjsmith at eyebaldwin.org. Students will receive service hours for this activity. I'm Michael Bingert, and this is the Locker Room Report. Tomorrow, the boys team will be at the Eastern Shore Lanes in Mount Biscayne against Spanish Four at 3.30. The wrestling team will be starting their regular season in Fairhope, going against Fairhope and Baldwin County High School at 5. Come out and support. Seniors, as you receive scholarship offers, Ms. Portera is the teacher that you should give the information to. Turn in all scholarship offers, even if you do not accept them, to her in room 914. Hello, Fuller High School. Today for lunch, we'll be having chicken wings, corn, celery sticks, biscuit, fruit, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a great day. I love these pictures. Um, in the booth, um, you know, we're just playing around having fun, and, and she's, she loves like the Botticelli and Venus, and she was such an artist. And so this is in August before she died. She died in October. And then this, this next picture 
is the following August, and obviously I'm there in the booth by myself. I just remember feeling numb, and uh, I, I remember calling my tennis coach to tell him I wasn't going to be able to make it to practice. Um, and I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't even speak to him on the phone. I was, I just started breaking down, I started to cry. Um, and yeah, we, we went to go meet up with Kim and, 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 and tell the news to her. I go to the door and, and I see my parents and my brother sitting there, my mom, and they're, they look a wreck. And it all happened so quickly. Um, my mom's like, your sister committed suicide last night. And, and I ran down the stairs and I just threw myself on the street outside and I was screaming and crying. And, and it's like your whole world collapses and nothing makes sense. And you just, you feel like you're grabbing and, and the air is just moving through and, and and you wish you could just go back a few hours. A few hours, that's all, just take me back. And it's so final. I lost a friend of mine to suicide three years ago. When I was in college, I had attempted suicide. Suicide almost four years ago and I lost a friend to suicide. Eight years ago, I attempted suicide. I lost my friend to suicide a little under two years ago. I stepped in and helped a friend who was contemplating suicide. I'm here because my friend attempted suicide. Lost a really good friend to suicide about two years ago. Being a survivor of suicide can be devastating. The questions, the confusion, and the hurt are lasting. When you are the one who's suffering the thoughts of suicide, there are people who care, even when it may not feel like it. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. Today's shout-outs go to Amber Burroughs and Lucas Updike. Have, have a great, great day, day Foley High, High School. School.